hello everyone. Welcome back to our free online lessons. And today's lesson will be the open channel design in civil 3D. So if you cannot see my screen or cannot hear me or you have questions, just let me know at the chat box below. And in the end of the lessons, I will try to answer your questions. So before we start, I would like to introduce myself. My name is Aunu Umira. I am the application engineer at ACAT System. Here I'm sharing with you the outline for today's lessons. So we will be going to create the open channel design uh, flow in Civil 3D using the corridor. So we will do the step here, which is the first one will be the alignment. We will creating the alignment. The second one, we will have to create the profile view creation from the alignment. And then we will design the open channel assembly. And then we will do the corridor and add surface and boundary on it. And lastly, we will see the result through the cross section for, from, uh, for the alignment. Okay, so now I will jump into my civil 3D. So let me open my civil 3D first. So I already opened my civil 3D here. I will open the existing surface drawing. Hi, who are just coming in? Thank you. Okay, this in this drawing I already have the point inserted and also this uh, surface inserted, and I have this pony line, which is this will be the alignment for my open channel flow. Okay, this will be the location of my open channel, and the first thing I will going to do is. The alignment. So to create the alignment, you go to the create design panel here. There is alignment drop down. And from here, you click the drop down, and then I will choose this create alignment from object because I already have the polyline there. So I click on this one and click on the polyline and click enter in your keyboard. So once you click enter, you will find there is an arrow there which is in it show the direction of your alignment. So this means your alignment will start from here, zero station, and then will end here. Uh, this uh, the ending of the station will be end here. Okay, so I'm okay with this flow. If you're not, you just click on reverse. It will change the direction there. So I'm okay with the direction. Just click enter, and this is the setting for you to set. Uh, for the alignment. So you can rename it, uh, choose the style, choose the level set and so on. So I'm just going to rename it as the flow channel flow. Okay. And then from here, I'm going to change the alignment level set to only for the major and minor only. And if you don't want your alignment have curve, so you can just uncheck off this uh, on this add curve by between tangent. So I want it, so I just let it be. And then I click, I check on this erase existing box. So this means it will erase your polyline just now and change it to the alignment. So I click on OK. So once I click OK, now the polyline are changed to alignment. Okay, from this alignment, I will create the profile view. So to create profile view, you click on the alignment there, and then there is the alignment channel flow will uh, panel tab will pop up, and here at the launch pad column, you will find that is surface profile, and then you click on that one, click on the one, and then this create profile surface box will pop up. So as I already click or select the alignment just now, it will automatically select the alignment uh, for the channel flow there. And then the select surface is EG surface. And then I click on this add button here, it will insert or add my profile setting alignment here into my profile list. And I click on this draw in profile view. So from here is, the uh, profile setting, your profile setting where you uh, set the station range, uh, style, uh, data band, and so on. 
Okay. From here, you can change the name if you want. Maybe this one is Flow1, for example. And then if you want to change the profile view style, you can just go here, click the drop down and choose wherever you want here. And then just click on next. So this is the station range. So if you have this specified or uh, from your start station, you have a specific start station, start station and uh, end station, you can just click on this user specifies range. So you can insert which station to start and which station to end. So if you just want uh, to create a profile view for the whole alignment, just click on automatic there. And then I click on next. So next. So this is for the data band set. So if you want to uh, change the data band there, you can just click on this drop down. You can find there's much more choices that you can use. For example, if you just want to show only the station value, you can just click on this station only. Okay. So I will use this EG and FG elevations and station. And click on next. And lastly, go to this box, create profile view. Click on this one. And then I'm going to go here at the empty space and I'm going to place it here. So this is my profile view uh, of the alignment. Okay. So from here, I'm going to create the purpose line for my open channel. Okay, click on the profile and then go here to this profile creation tools. And you will find this is for the purpose line. So this is uh, what I'm doing is I'm going to create the profile line or the purpose line, which will be the placement of my uh, channel later on. So maybe I just rename this, this one as the propose channel design, for example. Okay. And then here for the general setting, you can change the setting for the profile style here. So for me, I'm going to use this design profile and also the profile level set. I will use the complete level set. So if you don't want any level in your profile, in your proposed line, you can just use this no label uh, set here. And then just click on OK. So once you click on OK, you will find this box. This is actually as same as uh, you want, uh, when you want to create an alignment, OK? So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to draw the alignment, uh, the, the line there for the proposed design. So there's two options you can use to draw. The first one is draw tangent, and the second one with, is draw tangent with curve. So what I mean by this is if you use the draw tangent with curve, your line will have curve or, uh, or radius. So if you don't want, you just use this draw tangent. So I'm going to use the uh, with curve. And then I'm going to start my proposed line with this point here. Uh, actually, I'm just going to uh, follow the existing flow. Okay, just be like that. So this is, it depends on your spec, spec uh, specification. So you have your own specification where you want to uh, place the proposed line, you can use, you can do that. Okay. So I'm just simply randomly creating the proposed line. And then if I'm done, I click on enter. So once I click on enter, you will find there is a level uh, there and also uh, it will generate the proposed line for my profile. Okay, now I'm going to close on this profile layout tools. Now I'm going to create the assembly. So the assembly, to what, uh, for you to create assembly and you design your own sizes, your own design of open channel, we need to create our assembly. To create our assembly, you go to create panel there and then click on this assembly drop down. You will find that it's create assembly. So click on this one. So this is the setting for your uh, assembly. So maybe I'll just name it as channel A, for example. I click on OK and then I place uh, the assembly around here. So this is the assembly. So 
the thing that you need to open is the two palettes. Two palettes where you have you can find your sub assembly, open channel, uh, channel uh, design, root design, and so on. Okay, the two palettes are located here at this palette column. So you will find that it's palette column, and then this icon are two palettes. So you click on this one, and these two palettes will pop up. So actually, there is a bunch of assembly, sub-assembly that you can choose. Okay, so from today, I'm going to use this trench option. So you can find there is two types of channel. You can use the first one is the channel, the ordinary channel, or the second one is the channel parabolic bottom. Okay, this is up to your spec. If you want to uh, use either of these two for the channel's design, you can use, you can do that. Okay, I'm going to use the first one, channel. Okay. There is two ways you design your channel sizes, uh, the slope and so on. So the first way is you just change the parameter first before you insert it in your assembly. So you can find if you click on the channel there, this properties box will pop up and down here you can find that is parameter. So this is the setting or the sizes that you can change according to this part. Or after you place, you can also change it. So for example, I'm, I'm going to place it first and then later on, I'm going to change the parameter. So I just place, I just click on this center of the assembly. Okay, that, this is the design of the shape. This is actually default design from Civil 3D. Okay, so I'm going to close on this propose uh, pros properties first. I click on escape. Now I click on the sub assembly, the channel there. And then if this is sub assembly panel type will pop up. So from here, I'm going to go to this assembly properties. Okay, the assembly properties will pop up and then I go to this parameter type. So this will be the same as the setting just now in the uh, properties. Okay, so from here, I have my sizes that I want to change. So the first one is the depth. So for the depth, I'm going to change it to 0 0.85. So this is actually depend on your sizes of your channel. So um, this is my size that I want to change. Okay, the width will be 1.1. And um, the side slope, I don't want any slope there. Okay, any slope. Aligning that will be the thickness of your channel. Okay, so I'm going to add just 0 0.05. And left extension height will be the 0 0.15. Then the back slope width will be the same, 1.5. The left back slope, uh, back slope ratio will be 10 by 1. Okay, so the setting for the left uh, side will be the same as the right side. So the extension height for the right side will be the same. 1.0.15 and then the back slope for the right side will be the same 1.5 the ratio will be 10 by 1 okay so i'm going to move this box here to see the results so i click on apply first then this is the result it will change the design there for let's say you didn't know the the value name here uh, what is referring to inside our assembly. So to know what is a value name here is referring to, so you can click on this sub-assembly help here. There's a box there. You click on this one and you will find it will pop up another uh, page. So in, the, in this page, you will find the uh, detail of the assembly, sub assembly. So you'll find what is lining that, what is the side slope, bottom width, and so on. So you can uh, change the spec of your channel according to this name value. So later on, you will not be confused. Okay. So this is my setting. So I specified I'm okay with this 
spec. So if you want to change it, you can change it uh, according to your spec. So this is not a uh, uh, this is not the size, the only size that you can choose, you can use, you can change. Okay, it's up to your spec. And then I click on OK. Now the last thing I want to add inside my assembly are the cut slope ditch. Okay for the cut and a fill letter. So I go to basic tab here. I'm just going to use this basic size slope cut ditch. Okay, click on this one. And if you want to change the parameter also can. If you don't want, like me, I'm just going to add it like that. And then this one for the right side and change the parameter again for the left side. Side there, you can change to left to add, for, to add on this side. Like that and then that is the design of my uh, channel uh, that I want in my project. So I close on this sub assembly. Uh, sorry, I close on the two palettes first, and now I can create the corridor. Okay, to create the corridor, you go to this create design panel. You go to corridor drop down and then there is corridor creation. So you click on the create corridor and this is the setting for the corridor. So maybe you can uh, this uh, you can rename it, change the alignment, change the profile view and so on. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to change this one to the uh, channel A, for example. Okay. Okay, the corridor name will be channel A and then the baseline type, I'm going to use the alignment and profile. Why? Because I have these two alignment, obviously. And the alignment will be the channel flow and the profile will be the proposed channel profile design. Okay, the blue color one, the blue color one just now. And then for the assembly, I'm going to use the channel A that just uh, I just created just now. And then for the target surface, I'm going to change it to EG surface. And then for the set base region parameter box, I will check on this one. And then I click on OK. So once I click on OK, this baseline and region parameter box will pop up. So this is where you set frequency of your sub assembly or assembly. So you can see here the frequency are 20 meter, which means every 20 meter there will be the assembly. You, you can change it by you click on this spot with three dots. And then here you can change the long tangent, curve agreement and so on. So maybe I change it to 10 meter. So uh, every 10 meter there will be the assembly. Okay, change everything to 10 meter. All right, and then just click on OK, click on Apply, click on this Rebuild the Corridor, click on OK. Now I get my corridor. So I'm going to preview it, go to Project Browser, uh, sorry, go to the Object Viewer. Let me zoom in. Oops, sorry. So that is the a channel with uh, the side. Okay, so maybe change to like realistic, conceptual. Okay, so I'm okay with this. So next one, I'm going to create the boundaries for this corridor. Okay, what it uh what uh, why I want to create the boundaries and the surface because this will be used for the cut and fill when you want to analyze the cut and fill for this project. Okay, so I click on the prof, uh, on the corridor. You will find there is the corridor properties box here. So click on the corridor properties. So go in this in this corridor properties box. Go to the surface. I'm going to add a new surface here. And then the data that I want to add inside the surface are this uh, link type and the spec specified code will be datum. I click on plus button here. 
And then next one, I go to boundaries step. So from this channel A, I click, I right click, I add automatically, and then go to daylight. Okay, then click on apply, go to reboot corridor, click on OK. Now I'm done with the boundaries. Okay, next one, I want to create the cross section to see my cross section of the uh, alignment or of the channel for the uh, surface, between the surface and the alignment. Okay, to create the cross section along the alignment here, you need to have this sample line. Okay, sample line are located at this panel for profile and section view. Go to sample line. So it, uh, Civil 3D want us to select the alignment. So as you can see, the alignment are being layered with the corridor there, the surface there. So we cannot like directly select the alignment. So to do that, just click on enter and it will list down what alignment that you have in your project. So for example, right now I only have one alignment, which is the channel flow. I'm just going to use that one, click on OK. And then this is the setting for the sample alignment. You want to rename it, you want to change the style. You can also do that. So I'm just going to set it as default. I click on OK. Now, once you click on OK, you will find this box. This is actually the, like you want to draw, where you want to draw the sample line. So I'm going to use this one. You can find there's like the antenna there. So you click on this drop down, go to by range of stations. What is different between X station and by range of station is like by range of station, you can insert the value between the sample line. If X station, you, uh, you create the sample line on the station. Okay, so I'm going to use this by range of station. And then this create sample line range station a box will pop up. Okay, so you can change the uh, value between the station here. For example, the length of the uh, line, well, I want to change it to 50 meter. Same goes to the right one. And then the increment, which is the value between the the gap or the value between the sample line, I'm going to change it to 50. And then I click on OK. So once I click on OK, you can find the blue line for my alignment there, along my alignment there. Okay, so I just click on enter to exit the command. Okay, this is the alignment. You can find its place. The align, uh, sorry, the line are placed uh, between 50 meter. Okay, so now after you create the sample line, now you can create the session view. So to create session view, go to the same panel inside the profile and section view here. There is the section view drop down. Click on this drop down. I'm going to create multiple view. Click on this one. And then this is the setting for the section view. So you can select the alignment here. Also, you can do the station range, which from which station to which station you want to uh, create the uh, section view. If you want to uh, change the view style, so can. Okay, just click on next. So this one is the placement of your section view because currently, I'm going to create the multiple section. So that's why we have this section placement. Okay, maybe I use, just use the draft one. Click on next, offset range. If you want to click, uh, if you want to uh, insert the offset range, also can, it's up to your spec. Elevation range, uh, display and data band. So same as the profile just now, we have a few type of data bands for the section. And then I'm last one, I'm going to create the session views. Click on this one. I bring it to this empty space, then I place it here. Okay, so you can see this is the 
cross section of the thread or the channel. Okay, that is the channel. That is the channel. Okay, now if I go to the three D view of this um surface, for example, I change this one to the SW isometric, I change the view style to like a conceptual. Okay, you will find that you cannot see the uh the the channel there. Okay, you cannot see the channel like it's be covered by the surface. So what you're going to do is you going you need to create the combined surface. So to do that, I'm going to change this back to the top view, and then change the visual style to two D back. Okay, so from here you need to create the combined station to show the design of your channel in 3D view. Okay, so to create the surface, combined surface, you go to prospector here, you go to surface drop down, you create, uh, no, you just go to surface, you right click on the surface, you create a new surface. So from here, I'm going to name it as combined, okay? And then the setting for the style and then the render material, uh, I'm just going to let it be as the default there. Click on OK. Now, you expand the combined surface, you expand the definitions, and then you go to this, uh, let me see. You go to the edit tab, okay? You right click and then you click on paste surface. Okay, click on this paste surface. So as I only have two surfaces, which is for the corridor just now and also the EG surface. So you need to add one by one. So for example, I add the channel surface first. Okay, and then add one more, paste one more for the EG, okay. And now I go to the other surfaces, for example, channel one, I right click, I go to the surface prop properties, I disable or I change the surface style to no display because I just want to show the combine just now. I, okay, same goes to EG surface. Uh, where is it? Surface properties, go to the surface style, change to no display, apply OK. And now if I change to the 3D view of my project, I change this one to the conceptual. If I zoom in, maybe I change this one to hidden. Okay, you can see there is the uh, maybe I need to click on this one. Okay, you can see there is like a channel there. So it will show you this, the, the, the uh, shape of your channel because you already combined the surface just now. Okay. Share the screen. All right, so that is how you creating the open channel in civil 3D. So is there any question you want to ask me before I end the lesson today? Okay, so before that, I'm going to share with you our website. Okay. So here is our website. So from here, you can find what the product that we provided. And if you want to join our next free online lesson, you just scroll down and then you will find there is the others free online lesson upcoming. So if you're interested, for example, you're interested to join this AutoCAD with coordinate, you click on this one and then you click on going and we will email, email you the Zoom link and also the date and also the time 
for the specific um, uh, free online lessons. And if you want to rewatch today's free online lesson or the others previous free online lessons, you can go to our YouTube channel here. Just search ACAT System Syndrome Brahat and then you will find videos here. There's a bunch more uh, topic and lesson that you can uh, you can see here, okay? You can find, uh, go to playlist, for example, you can go to the specific uh, topic that you want. Okay, you can explore it here. So thank you everyone. Thank you for joining me. And hope to see you soon in our next corona lessons. Thank you, CCW. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Take care.